and welcome to a real conversation between two native English speakers. I am Adam Navis, and I am here with Liz Wade. Hello, Liz. Hello, Adam. Today, we are talking about the program 10 Ways to Fight Hate, Create an Alternative. This is the sixth program in a series of 10 programs. And we thought it would be worth stopping for a second and telling you what all those 10 programs are. So program one is act. Mm -hmm. No, program number two is join. Oh, join forces. Join forces, yep. correct. Program number three is support the... Victim. victim. Support yep. the victim. Speak. Speak up. Speak up. Educate. Uh, educate yourself. Yourself. Then there's this program, Create an Alternative. Now we're getting into some, some ones we haven't done yet. So pressure... Oh, we're doing all of them. Leaders, yes. Pressure yeah, leaders. Pressure leaders, yes. Uh, that's seven. Number eight is stay... Uh, I engaged. Don't know. Stay, stay engaged. Stay engaged, yes. It used to be, yeah. Okay, it used to be a different one. Yeah. Uh, nine is teach acceptance. Yep. And then number 10 is dig... Dig deeper. Deeper, yes. Uh, yeah. So that I, is a wonderful series of programs. Can I just say a second? I love how... Because this is a series... Um, these, ten st these 10 ways are actually from the Southern Poverty Law Center. We mm -hmm. didn't make up these 10 things. Right. Um, but I love how they have broken it down into all of these different steps. Instead of just saying like, you know what? You should really do something in your community... To fight hate. Yeah. I love how they have broken it down into like different categories and different steps because then you can say, well, maybe I'm not so good at speaking up, but I can organize an event mm -hmm. to create an alternative or I can act by, you know, helping in this way or whatever. I love exactly. that. Exactly. That is, that is a great point because sometimes the idea of hate or a, a movement or a group of hate for one person can feel very overwhelming. But yeah. um, if you listen to the full series, I know you'll find some that you think, I, I don't know if I'm not real comfortable with that, but you'll definitely find one that maybe right. you are. And so today's may, might be that one. Right. Uh, so let's talk about creating an alternative. Well, I was just going to say first um, that if you have not listened to that program, oh, yeah. you can find it on our website as you follow, you can follow along there with the script as well um, at www.spotlightenglish.com. You can find it wherever you get your podcasts and you can listen to it that way. Um, or you can also find it on YouTube as a classic program with music behind or a version with no music. Um, and you can listen to it that way. Or if you are a little bit um, a little bit advanced in your English speaking, you can listen to the advanced version. Um, so there's really a couple different ways that you can listen to that program, uh, YouTube and uh, podcast and our website. So really check out that program. And there's a whole playlist on YouTube if you missed any of the ones that we talked about before. Yeah. So um, and. Uh, if you want to get these scripts just delivered directly to your email, we do have a new email list. Yes. Um, you can sign up to get those scripts delivered to you right to your email every week, every Monday morning. It just comes right there. And then yeah. you have all week to look over the PDF and to circle words. To Not only that, along. They, have, they have as much time as they want. Right, exactly. Um, and it is, it's only about a dollar a week. So you can go to our website and sign up there uh, to get your PDF scripts delivered. And uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, sign up for that. That's cool. And if you want to get, uh, if you want to um, get benefits on YouTube, just click that join button below to learn more about that. Um, and while you're looking at that, if you are on YouTube, uh, please just give this video a like. It really helps us. Subscribe if you want to um, never miss a program by us. Yeah. And so there's all my plugs. There's all the plugs. Um, so, Liz, let's talk about hate. Oh. Ooh. Hate. Uh, hate is a really hard thing because I don't think anybody feels... I think people sometimes feel scared. 
nobody experiences themselves as hating someone. They feel justified and, you know. Right. So sometimes there are people who get together and want to protest something that they don't like. Now, I know not everybody around the world is able to do that, but if you live in a country where you're allowed to gather together and make signs and and s protest something, uh, you, you know what we're talking about. And mm -hmm. sometimes these, even though you might think that they might be protesting, we call them a hate group. If right. In the United States, at least, we have the freedom to speak and the, free the right to assemble. And that can be problematic. And this program starts talking starts with talking about that um and so what right. do you do so if you don't if you let's say you and i we hear about something a group of people who says you know what we don't like uh trying to think of a good example we don't like people. i know it's really terrible to think of these examples i know let's say we don't i'm gonna make it very silly almost we don't like people who wear hats you know, right. there's a group we know. It wouldn't really be a hate group, though. I know. Like, we hate people. someone, like, like intolerance is, like, something that people can't change, right? Like, you can take your hat off. Sure, sure, but sure. But you can't change your skin color or, um, right. you know, those sorts of things. So we, we don't like people. Anyway, let's just say, like, that there is a hate group in our area who are... Yeah. Who are um, like they're, they're gonna ha they're gonna get together at a local uh, city building and they're going to protest. Right. What are we gonna do? Are we gonna go to that? Because that can bring more attention to it. Right. And that's actually like I think people's first idea, right? Yeah. It's your oh, inclination. Yeah. It's like, oh, if they're gonna be at city the city building, yeah. Then I'm gonna go there with my good signs and yeah. I'm gonna say like. Um, or, you know, like you should love people or, yeah, or you're whatever. going to counter protest. So you have your protest right. of the protest. Yeah. So, and that, Which, go ahead. Yeah. I was going to say like, and when you're dealing with like, when you're dealing with hate, also like feelings are very high. Right? Big um, feelings. Feelings are very intense because um, usually if somebody feels about this strongly enough to sure. go protest and say give up their you know, time their energy i don't like this group of people yeah um they feel very strongly and they have they have lots of feelings but if you are feeling that you're defending those people you also have very strong feelings yeah. and so everybody at that rally whether they're they're hating or protesting hate Everyone there has a lot of very strong feelings that, um, yeah, can what we say here's right. a here's a good idiom boil over. Yeah, as if there's like a, a pot of water that is getting heated and heated and heated, and the bubbles start coming up yep. and up and up. And if it's if it's too hot, if it gets too hot, um, it can actually the water boils over the side of the pot, right? right? And then you have uh, a, mess a mess and um, maybe even something that happened that was dangerous. Right. So um, that's a good way. If you have two groups that are protesting um, opposite things, yeah. those protests can get very violent, like you said. Yep. And then, you know, news, news organizations might come and just, you know, report on, on the violence or report on the, the hate rally, stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. So what's recommended, like it's, I think we are, we're coming to the point to say it's not always an effective way of changing someone's mind, right? You right. want to let the world know that, you know, that that is not important and we want to we want to show, we want to be strong and be like, no, there's more of us against it. But research shows it's not necessarily a great way. It actually helps, sometimes can help the, 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 the hate group. So right. that's where it brings us to this program and the recommendation of create an alternative alternative right. means because a different I think, choice oh i was just gonna say because i think like it's important to say like you know you want to go protest it but then what do you do what do you do right. with that good energy good that's a great create. i love that phrase good energy yeah. what do you do when you feel yeah. those big feelings you're like no that's not right then so you create, create an, an alternative. alternative um so you can do this in <clears throat> a couple uh different ways the program talks about let me see if i can find it um 
This is a great story. I don't know if you remember it. It from is. The... I do. Um, and I think it's from, I mean, it's from quite a while ago, right? 2003. But Yeah, we don't have hate anymore, Liz. So this yeah. really <laughs> isn't a problem. Um, no, what I, what I love about this story um, is actually what is so sad about this story. Um, if you, do you mind if I tell it? Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. So um, there was this community um, in Maine, mm -hmm. um, and uh, there was a lot of Somali immigrants that moved to this community. And um, we have immigrants moving uh, everywhere today, right? Um, there's a lot of uh, climate change that's affecting where people live, yeah. war that people are trying to escape. We have uh, refugees and immigrants um, moving all over the world right now. Yep. And um, with that comes a lot of anti-immigrant ideas, yep. right? Um, and so the the bad part of this, bringing up this story or having this story in here is that this story is still applicable. We right. still have, um, you know, the bad feelings about immigrants. And, but we can still learn from this story good things to do, yep. right? Um, okay, so this uh, this community had a lot of Somali immigrants, and um, they were they were inviting more family to live there. And the mayor basically sent a letter that said, uh, "Hey, Somali immigrants, stop inviting yeah. people here. We don't want any more immigrants here," which is terrible, right? Um, and so uh, there was, I think, there was a group that planned mm -hmm. on. Uh, was they planned on protesting like immigration, like Somali immigrants. Right. The, some people, re the some people read the letter and they were like, yeah, we agree. Yeah, and finally, they were, right? they, they were going to go out there and have a rally, have a public event where they showed that they agreed with what the mayor said. Mm -hmm. um, and so, but then there were other people who were like, no, 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 we're going to create an alternative. And they called it the many and one coalition. Mm -hmm. So they reached out to like-minded people, and um, what was great about it is uh, they they knew, they believed that the community would show up more for their event than for this hate rally, mm -hmm. and uh, they did. You know, in the even in the program, more than four thousand people right. attended the event. And, and this event wasn't like a like a protest or a rally. It was an um, a celebration of diversity, right? right. So they had like, um, <clears throat> like different foods and, um, mm -hmm. and, uh, like I think speakers and just an event where they celebrated the diversity of their community right. and, um, just really showed support for immigrant immigrants in that area. Right. Yeah. Which I think is really cool. Um, you know, that's, and they and they invited, like you said, different people from the community, like students mm -hmm. and faith organizations and um, other like minded people. Um, you know, you can gather those people from anywhere. Yeah. No, I think, I and think that's, that's the, great. and you can learn from people. And, you know, the more I interact with people who are different than me, I realize that I decide who's different from me. Right. Oh, like, right. Like, I think some of the thing about going to a an event where that celebrates differences, you realize like, oh, I made that difference. And yes, people eat different foods and, and, and look different. And some people have hair and some don't and whatever. But you realize, oh, we all function basically the same way, have the yeah. same needs. Um, and so we that's all what, need love. We, yeah, we all need love. And we all need to contribute to our communities and we all wanna take care of our families. Um, mm -hmm. And it really is that sense of um, fear that you're going to lose something that, that leads to, to hate, um, right. I, I think. And so the right. more we can kind of focus on love and trust and uh, realize that we're all the same, I think the less we're going to feel that we need to yeah. act out of fear and hate. This is the one um, so far in this series that I have felt is the most difficult for me personally to do. Oh, okay. Um, because I feel like it takes a special sort of person to um, to organize an event. Okay. Right? 
So I might go to this event, but I feel like this is the this is the hardest for me to say. Like for speaking up, uh, I think you know in in that conversation we talked about. Well, what if your your aunt says this thing that you're uncomfortable yeah. with? Yeah. Um, and you know you can you can speak up in that situation, or you can you can act, or you can um, you know support a person one on one. But having a big event, I feel like, is very difficult for me. But again. Uh, going back to what I said earlier in this conversation, this is why I think it's so important that the Southern Poverty Law Center has separated these out mm -hmm. into different things, right? Because each of us have our own gifts. Um, you know, I might have uh, the gift of caring for people around me. Um, and another person might have the gift of organizing big events, yeah. like being a leader in that way. And so I really think, um, and you know, when we get to the whole series, I think it's really going to be easy to see which ones you can really help with and which ones you can support. Yeah. Or even if you know somebody be like, oh, this person would be great at creating yeah. an alternative and I will help them, right? You don't you don't yeah. have to say, well, I I don't have to do that. You can say, well, I'm going to show up for that even yes. though I'm I don't I'm not going to plan food for a 200 people or yeah. something that yeah. would take to that. Uh like I am um I mean I probably could do this, uh, but that's there's a lot of planning, right? Like getting permits maybe or, you know, making sure there's enough food or flyers or whatever. Yeah. Um but I still think like this is a really important kind of a, a way to support or to uh, fight hate. This is an important way to fight hate. And um, yeah, it's important for every person to be able to find what way is best yeah. for them. And I think this is an important one because it's not intuitive, right? It's one of those things no. like you, you, you want to react in one way, but you have to pause. Mm hmm touch that part of that like okay i'm gonna be an adult i'm gonna do this right thing and yep. then even though it doesn't it doesn't like oh it would feel good to you know punch that person no that's not what we're trying to do yeah <laughs> that is true like sometimes you feel like oh i wish like i could just you know do something yeah like just to release those emotions but um yeah, it is the it is the better thing to do, even if it's not immediately. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> immediately releasing emotion. <laughs> well, uh, we are so thankful that you've watched this conversation. Uh, we hope you have understood most of it. Um, you can find us. You, well, you can find out the rest of these programs on YouTube. We have a playlist on that, and I think mm -hmm. on our website. Um, yeah, but. Also check out our Facebook page. You can follow us on Twitter and uh, like and subscribe. I'm sure you have already by this point. Um, <laughs> done all those things. Uh, if, you, if you want to make sure you don't miss anything, there's a little notification bell on YouTube. We, um, we love your support uh, in whatever way you can. But of course, we just love to have you as part of this community. We always say... Spotlight listeners are the best listeners. You are kind. You are courteous. Curious. Uh, and we really appreciate. So until next time, make sure to listen, watch, practice, and learn. Spotlight out. Mm -hmm.